So we're going to cover uh, class 7 in ME 470. Um, this is an example 14.1 out of the book. And I'm going to do three examples in this class, so that's sort of ambitious. But I thought I would cover um, the example 14.1 in the next video, 14.2. Uh, and then I'm going to cover a problem uh, front to back, uh, which is actually Shigley's problem 14.1. Uh, Right, so not not example fourteen one. This is example fourteen one. I'm going to do problem fourteen one. So let's take a look here. What the problem is asking for is the stock gear spur gear is available, having a diametral pitch of eight teeth per eight teeth per inch, uh, one and a half inch face width, sixteen teeth, and a pressure angle of twenty degrees with full depth teeth. The material is AISI ten twenty steel in as rolled condition. Use a design factor of three to rate the horsepower output of the gear corresponding to a speed of 120 RPM with moderate applications. Okay, so um, many of these things will become even more clear uh, over time when we, uh, when we do more and more problems. Um, so we're being introduced to some of these things. So let's check out um, what we think we would rate this, uh, this gear when you say what its capacity uh, would be. Um, okay, so some of the first things uh, that we're gonna uh, notice here, uh, we probably wanna get the diameter first. That's a good place to start. And we know that you take the number of teeth divided by the diametral pitch. Um, there are 16 teeth, right? They say 16 teeth and the pitch is eight. So I think we could do that math in our head that this has a two inch pitch circle diameter. Now, um, we probably, uh, the next thing uh, we often will want to do is get the um, uh, <clears throat> pitch line velocity, which is going to be pi d uh, n over 12, where, of course, that n is RPM. Don't get it confused with the safety factor. That's why they put a d in the subscript right here. This is the RPM. Um, so pi 2 inches and the RPM is, we were told, was 1,200 RPM revolutions per minute. And uh, divided by 12 to get it into feet per minute, and we get 628.3 feet per minute. Um, from this V, we can find a KV. So we have to figure out which KV uh, to use. Right, so um, they gave us like sort of a hint in the problem by way of saying um, that it was a stock spur gear, okay. And um, you know, they didn't really, I think um, when they're talking about here, I, let's see, did they actually say how it was cut? They didn't, so I think we have to make an assumption here. Uh, when looking through there. So what they decided to do in this section was to use the um, cut or milled uh, profile. Um, when, when in doubt, you might need to do it in a couple different ways and then make a comparison and, and state what the, what the uh, difference was if you don't know something. Uh, you have to uh, still go through with it. You can't just throw your hands up in the air. So um, what they decided to use was the 1200 plus the pitch line velocity divided by 1200. And remember, this is a dynamic factor, right? So 1200 plus 628.3 divided by 1200. Let's try to make that look a little nicer here. Um, that equals 1.524. This is always going to be something greater than 1. You expect it to be something greater than like 1.2 maybe. When, you know, you're not going to get really below that uh, too much unless they're really, really well-made teeth. Um, okay, so um, let's see. Other things that we're going to need to use. We're going to need the material um, at some point right here. So we're going to look up AISI 1020. Um, as rolled conditions. Um, so we look that up in our book here. And go up a little bit. And we go into um, the back of the book. Haven't looked in this back of the book yet in a while. So I'm looking here and I'm seeing some tables that don't look quite as familiar as the 10th uh, edition. And 1020 steel. 
Let's see. I don't see 1020 steel in here now. Interesting. There it is, 1020, okay. And they said as rolled. Um, I think it's gonna be hot rolled, right? So we're gonna take a 30 uh, KSI, they're showing KPSI, 30 KSI um, yield strength. So um, let's say that the yield strength is 30 KSI based on the available information we have. So the allowable stress is going to be the yield stress divided by the design factor, right? 30 divided by 3, so 10 KSI is what we're going to say this thing's allowed. Now, maybe I should write down um, the equation we're going to use. We're going to use the Lewis equation, which has the dynamic factor in it. It has the transmitted load, the diametral pitch, divided by the face width, and then y right here. Okay, so that's the dynamic factor we found. This, this is something we're going to want to know. So this is actually our goal is to find out what this is. Here, this is going to set this to the allowable so we can find out what that allowable load is going to be. And that's diametral pitch, so we know that. We have the face width. We were told that it was a one and one half inch. The last thing we need is this Y. So what is the Y? Well, that's going to be come out of um, a table. And that table in chapter 14. Come on. Should have just marked this up right here. Do, 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 do. Talks amongst yourselves. Boom. Right here. So we were told um, that there were 16 teeth. So we find we have a Y from table 14.2 of 0.296. So Y is equal to 0.296. All right, so I think we have everything we need. So I'll write it out this way, uh, right in here, and I'll say that we have 10,000, remember these are KSI, is equal to KV of 1.524. WT is what we want to get. The diametral pitch, as we were told, was 8, divided by the face width of 1.5, and with a Lewis form factor of 0.96. You do all this, and we end up with um, 364.3 pounds. And now if we want the force, or uh, excuse me, the horsepower, we use uh, this equation with that constant put into there. So we get 364.3 times our 628.3 divided by 33,000. And we end up with 6.935 horsepower is what we're going to say this thing is rated. Now, what's interesting here is that we have a catalog to look things up in. Uh, we have two of them actually, um, the Boston Gear and the Martin Sprocket. So let's take a look and see what um, this thing, same thing would be. So remember this is uh, a diametral pitch of eight, one and a half inches face with 16 teeth, 20 degree pressure angle, right? And we don't necessarily know that's the same material here. So here is the Boston Gear catalog, as I mentioned at the end of the previous video. Um, this, is the, this is a section, engineering section, where they tell you all kinds of things. Um, uh, amongst the maybe slight differences is if you take a look at 16 teeth right here, they have 0.295. We had 0.296, right, for this form factor uh, right in here. Their material that they're basing this thing on, that, that when we go to the next section where they have the power right there, I'm not sure if they're clear which one of these uh, steels that they're using, but you'll see that there is uh, there are 20 um, 
like this tw 20 uh, untreated right there, the, the, the 0.2 carbon, which is the same thing as our 1020 steel right there. They're using 20,000, right? But we don't know what safety factor that they used. But here it is. Here's the eight diametral pitch, right? From that section of the catalog, 20 degrees, inch and a half um, face width right here and 16 and then here is our 1200 rpm so we come down here and what we will find is we have um 10.3 all right so we have uh 10.3 horsepower um according to um to the boston gear I think this is a good exercise uh, to try to see so you can see what a, what a real gear um, is entails, right? Um, and by the way, that's, you know, we, we don't know the safety factor, right? We don't know um, what they used for uh, that safety factor. All we have is the, what they're calling safe static stress, right? So, uh, and we're not 100% sure based on this, uh, which steel, they just say steel that they're using, but they're not quite saying what steel they're using. So what we could do is we could go backwards with their 10.3 and we could figure out what they're saying that their stress is, right? We could just, uh, we, we, we could work backwards uh, from the velocity. We could get what that, what, 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 with the horsepower they gave and the velocity that we know, we could find the W, we go back, put the W in there. All those other things are the same. We also notice that they're, that they've based their um, uh, their their dynamic factor on a rougher cut, right? I believe that you're going to get a higher number of your dynamic factor if you use 600 plus V over 600 instead of using our 1200 uh, plus V over V. Remember, we could go back to here, and you can see that this one is the one that they're using. Where at, which it was corresponds to uh, this right in here, and note noteworthy we had 628, so we had like somewhere like right in this range maybe, um, and uh, uh, so but we used this equation right here, right here, and um, so that would have been that corresponds to the cut or milled right here, right the cut or milled, so that's going to be uh, somewhere like right in here, right? And then of course, well, we ended up with 1. Uh, 1.52, right? So we got like, yeah, so like somewhere right in there was about where we were uh, when um, when applying this right here. So that, but uh, you know, they're, they're gonna have a larger number right in here, but we don't know their safety factor um, that, that they're applying. Like this already has probably a safety factor uh, built into it. Um, if we assume that this is uh, the idea, the, the, the going to be the same one as the, the hot rolls, and they're calling it untreated right there, we could see that that would just be the safety factor that they have appears to be like 1.5, right? Because that would be 3 divided by 2, yeah. So they have a safety factor of 1.5 um, according to this. <clears throat> but they have a different dynamic factor. So there you go. We can end the show and make another video. Boom, 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 boom,